Hey everyone, how you doing today? Um, I want to tell you about some plans that we have for probably after Gwendolyn is born. Mainly because we don't have time beforehand to uh, to do these two things that um, that I'm about to talk about and why I'm gonna and why we're gonna be doing it. So. Okay, so this, it's either this hen or we have another one that looks just like her. And I think actually this is the younger one. Um, so the other one that looks like this hen, that has a, she has a little bit of silver uh, in her feathers since she's getting older. She is one of the first hens that Simber got when she moved out here. And what we're planning on doing is going to be butchering her. For one, uh, she has been... Um, a little more aggressive to the other chickens compared to the uh, other hens that we have so um, we just kind of made we just kind of want to purge her from the flock although whenever we've had um, baby chickens like um, the little ones that are in the brood box or the uh, not seeing the other little ones um, she she's usually a really good mother with them um i think because a lot of them look like her and so she thinks oh it's the same kind as us and i don't have to have them compete for with the other hens because i'm not top of the pecking order which is a good thing but also can be a bad thing so we'll probably uh put her down and put her in the freezer so we can have a, a good meal um, now she is older hen so she may be a little bit tougher so we'll probably crock pot her just to make it um where it's um a little bit more tender and easier to eat and then we can uh use the bones for bone broth which whenever we uh put any of our hens in the freezer that's what we plan on doing if we crock pot them or even if we don't crock pot them we uh we can still put their bones in a bone broth and get those nutrients from the bones um, for our joints to help out um, our joints and help us to be um, able to do the things that we need to do and not be as stiff so so in yesterday's video I mentioned that we had a rabbit that's been really aggressive um, towards us and so I'm showing you her right now and she, since she is being more aggressive we'll probably um, put her in the freezer also um, because we do like rabbit meat and this will be a way we can get um, one at least one rabbit in our freezer um, just because she's aggressive I don't want um, say Malachi to uh, put his hands in and get bit or um, or even us um, you know Simba or, or me to get bit or if we have someone take care of our animals like when um, we'll be in the hospital for Gwendolyn. We have a family coming to take it, take care of animals for us. We don't want them to get bit either because, I mean, who wants to take care of someone else's animals and then get bit by those animals? So, um, we'll put, we'll also butcher her and have her, um, have her for meat just, just because she's not being people friendly. Okay, so we'll let you know when we get to that point. Um, when we do that, hopefully within the next month or two, we, uh, I'll, we'll probably do it once Simber's starting to feel better from um, delivering uh, Gwendolyn. But her mom is going to be staying out with us for a week, and so that may help um, us be able to get that processed um, because she has processed rabbits before. And because of that she'll have the experience on um on where to um do certain things and be able to um help us out whenever we we need the help hope you guys have a blessed day and we'll catch you guys tomorrow thanks for watching the video push the thumbs up to like the video also hit that subscribe button also the bell so that you can get notifications when our videos come out
Check us out on our social media pages too. We have Facebook and Pinterest and soon we'll have Instagram. The links are below. Bye y'all.